Hello YouTube and welcome to today's Blender Python scripting tutorial and today I'm gonna show you I'm gonna start off showing you the logic brick conversion to Python script whenever you need more control or object but you need you need to kinda have the controller but you need to control it differently in Python you can always make basically any of them instead of python actually always sensor is anything we just execute if we want a top sensor of always we do uh, if not in in own own in it equals true and then anything here will be like a tab sensor of always that's very basic topic and uh, we're not going to talk about always sensor um, so let's get in sensors F first sensor that we're going to do is not going to be actuator it's something more complex to do and it's for lighter topics um, for collision I never have tried to do it in python I have never had need it's too complex it's more complex than actuator controller so I'm not gonna take this out here you're gonna just need to use this logic brick and I don't see any reason why not to use it as logic brick because you can still access it here like um, contact oh yeah uh, sense equals contact sen sensors and then when you have a collision sensor then you do call equals uh, sense uh, collision and when you have it in then you can do for example if call do things and so on um, so you don't need this uh, next sensor we have here is delay how do we do delay in Python we actually have we haven't built it yet but we have almost built the delay machine in previous tutorial and I'm gonna show you now how to make delay firstly I'm gonna add delay property here and set to integer now what you wanna do is here down here you wanna add and value I'm gonna make it predefined it's gonna be 50 it's gonna repeat whenever it reaches 50. oh and next one is repeat equals I'm gonna currently set it to false and here I'm gonna for debugging I'm gonna add another property called execute it's gonna be brilliant and uh, now I'm gonna make this statement down in another function and I'm gonna call it uh, no I don't need another script actually it's gonna be input so I'm gonna add def delay uh, oj, oh, which defines the object and and uh, repeat um, now what we're gonna do is test if oj uh, broke name I'm gonna set this property uh, out equals fall first I'm gonna set it to false if oj broke name equals no is smaller than and obj prop name plus equals one else out equals true and if o oh, oh, if repeat obj 
probe name equals zero. Now I'm gonna quickly explain you. If the object this property is smaller than end value, then it's gonna skip anything and just add one to this property. So if it's now zero, it's and we have end of fifty. It's testing. Okay, it's smaller than fifty. So we're gonna just add one unit to it. Next frame it's one and so on. And then when it gets to fifty, it's not smaller than end anymore. So it's gonna go to this else statement. Here it's gonna immediately set output to true. So this property is gonna return true and the delay has been passed. And then if delay in, if repeat is false, it's gonna just stay true. All the time it's then gonna return true. But if you have enabled repeat, um then it's gonna return probe name. I can actually set another property called tap and here elif tap if the tap is true, obj, uh, obj, prop name, no, uh, out equals false. It's gonna then, uh, elif tap and obj, prop name. Okay, now elf tap uh, obj probe name plus equals one, and if obj probe name is bigger than and uh, or equals false again, um, I'm gonna show you all how this works. Um, so re return out. So what this does. If it's set to tap, it's gonna add one to this to set it to be one unit bigger than that. And in next frame, um, it's gonna again be set to true, uh, to false. We can do it separately here. So if it's tap, it's gonna add one more unit. Um, if tap, and yes, this is all. We have this function. I'm gonna copy this code down here. Go to the or cube. Um, and now I'm gonna set it to input dot. Um, so I'm gonna call delay s, which is delay sensor, is input to delay uh, own which are first for owner and repeat I'm gonna add new property here top equals false for now and prop name is gonna be delay and I'm gonna actually set the execute property to equal this function so when I run it now as you can see it goes up to 50 and then it sets to true. Nice, works well. We set tap to true. It's you in you even can't notice it, but at one frame it becomes true. You can't see it. Unfortunately, it's too fast. If you had a really slow frame rate and it matched the frame, you can actually see it. But now you can't see it. I'm sorry, but you, I won't. I am not sh able to prove that it works, but it does work. I'm gonna. Sh yes, it it does work. We can only check it if we print own execute. We print it. Now I'm gonna check if there's one true down here between those. Is there? Wait, there isn't one. Isn't there one? There must be one. Okay, it doesn't work. Interesting. Hmm, good that we checked. Yeah, wait. 
Yes, I can do it like this. And plus one. And now it should work. Um. Okay, you see it flickered for a moment. We have one true here. Okay, I'm gonna delete this print line. So now it works, actually. <laughs> and now you can actually yeah, see a little f flickering there, where it's true for one frame. And now I'm gonna do another test. I'm gonna set repeat to true. And now you don't need tap. You need If you have repeat, you must set tap to false, actually. You can see it flickers through and resets, and it flickers all the time. And does this with uh, frequency repeat too, and starts with delay. So yeah, basically this is it. We have done delay sensor in Blender Game Engine Python. We have converted this sensor to Python and gave it our control. In next lesson, we're gonna check out joystick sensor. I think yeah, I'll, I'm gonna check out the. Uh, the documentation and then we're gonna test this joystick sensor so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if so don't forget to press like and if you haven't already then you should subscribe to see new tutorials and see you next time I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with me and now I Adrian Snattles say goodbye to you